are doing very well in your applications today i want to discuss about the ns operations queue how it how it will be performed in your applications and this is very important topic to be perform any task to be executed in your applications uh, let's know about the, what is exactly ns operations operation queue is the class regulate that execute to the an, an operation object set right and this is if you are if you have the several tasks that is uh, that is the same priority basis right it work as, it work as a uh, fifo principle it means uh, first in first out you can see here so what is exactly the fifo work fifo will work uh, which come first and which will serve first uh, you can see here the queue process right and uh, this will also the perform by the ns operations if there is no any priority for the any task right and uh, uh, it uh, it always uh, it always the every task has the same priority it means uh, the work as the principle of the fifo all right and uh, some features uh, it always keeping uh, instead of uh, the gcd uh, i have already um, make a video in gcd you can see the previous video of gcd and uh, you can uh, continuously work on the ns operation as well and uh, let's is a it's a few features uh, uh, as compared to the gcd gcd actually the low level priority uh, gcd is the low level based on api of uh, objective c right and uh, this is the high level classes of objective c and uh, you can you can uh, cancel the any task in the time of execution you can pause as well you can stop as well uh, in the in the time of execution of any task in the whole operations but in the gcd there is no any options to be cancelled any task in the time of executions and uh, uh you always uh, monitoring and even the, even the dependency and uh, it it will provide the uh, dependencies as well uh, if you have uh, several tasks uh, you just want to be perform one uh, second task uh, instead of the two tasks and uh, you can add the dependency of uh, uh, the task uh, perform as compared to the one and two right you can see uh, let's uh, let's uh, example with the what is exa what exactly doing the ns operations i have a, a button of uh, operation tab uh, let's create a variable and uh, that the variable name is the queue right and i have the queue that is the name of a queue right and uh, that's that will be uh, you have to understand the things uh, the queue uh, opera operations queue is basically let's take the operations queue operations queue it performed the several tasks with this right and uh, i have the several tasks let uh, i have i just need to be clear the let uh, task one i have a task one and that the task is a block of uh, operations right and block of operation i need to be print uh, one right first task will be print one and i have another task uh, which is into the task two let the second task task is two and the block of operation is here right and i have added the second task and the print will be the seconds right and second will be performed right and let's copy and paste for the third one sorry for third one task two task three task four task five task six right okay let's uh, change to the variable name all right and this is the three and sorry three and this will be the three task and this will be the four and this will be five and four all right and this is the five i have mentioned here five okay let's take the five operation is here right you need to be add the all operation into the queue you just need to be this is the queue operations operation queue i have mentioned here uh, let's you can see what the task is performing the task performed the 
I mean, the, in the serial queue, it means I have the several tasks, task 1, task 2, task 3, task 4. And I did not add any priority to the all task. It means the whole is working like a FIFO, right? First in, first out. And it means uh, let's uh, go with the whole task here, right? All right. And I have added the block of operations, uh, block of operation with the operations queue. And I have added this in into the queue. Uh, this the task one, right? What I have into the queue, right? I have a queue, and need to be add the operations. I have an operations that is the task one, right? Task one. And now copy and paste for the task two, three, and four and five, right? Task two, task three, task four, and task five. This is the task 2, right? This is the task 3, and this is the task 4, and this is the task 5. I have added the task 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, right? And I need to be add also the concurrent. If you want to add the concurrent, right, you can just print it uh, what is exactly doing uh, let's okay let's do what will we print one five three four two it means I don't have any concurrent and this will operation of the block of statements right and I need to be add also the concurrent uh, for the queue max concurrent operations to count and this will and I think uh, the block of operation is executed uh, simultaneously to the one five three four two two is the last operations which uh, to be executed here uh, less the concurrent it the queue and dot sorry dot max concurrent operations queue and uh, this is I have taken one right you just need to be add if I have add the slip right slip is 2 right and slip is 3 here and slip is 2 slip is 3 I have add slip 3 and this is the slip 4 right slip 3 right is a similar you just need to be print here what is exactly doing I have add the max concurrent operation is here this okay after two seconds it will be print one two three four and five and I have a I have added the concurrent operation count with the slip then I have performed which operation will be first and that serve will be first second is in the second will be serve so you have also added i it also uh, used to be cancel any operation in the time of execution i have this is operation will uh, take care of uh, the these features right if you have a task like task 3 i don't need to task 3 to be executed and you can cancel here okay just I have cancelled the task you can cancel the task if you just click it and task 3 will be cancelled 1 2 4 and 5 it means you have an authority you have a permissions to be cancel any task in the time of execution as well all right so uh, one more one more task uh, one more features uh, which is uh, very important to be add here the task dependency you, i need to be uh, execute the five fifth task instead of uh, one all right and uh, task one uh, which is uh, uh, which is add the dependency right at the dependency of uh, task uh, five right task five which I have the task 5 let's go with the task 5 and I 
what the, what is this this is a task 5 will be executed uh, after task 5 then task 1 will be executed right okay just uh, just operation I have add task 2 okay that's great task 2 task 4 and task 5 then task 1 it means you you have a permission to be dependency as well in this NS operations queue hope you all guys is understand the things so what is exactly doing in the NS operation queue these are you can also the stop of the task right so so hope you guys enjoy with this video if you have any doubts you can comment below i will reply soon please subscribe my channel it will motivate me for making more video to all all right thank you bye and take care